Hello and welcome to this episode of Callan's Outdoor Adventures. Today we're going to be doing some fishing, so let's get started. Very small. Got that on my spinning rod. I think I'm going to get start out with the lure I got yesterday. Berkeley 3 8 ounce slobber knocker and a Berkeley power stinger. Got this on my bass, oh, myself. Bass Pro Shops Formula Rod and Reel Combo, medium heavy action, 17 pound Berkeley Vanish fluorocarbon. Get started. Feeling some chatterage or knockerage is what this one would be. Fish on. Fish on the slobber knocker. That's a good one. Bass on the slobber knocker. There. Pop that barb loose. on. Come here. After soaking me, come here. I think I ate it. Ate it good. That's bass eating the slobber knocker. Good. Can I see the hook it's in there? Yeah, it is. He's not hooked hardly at all. Just gotta get him to yeah. Gotta get him to let go of it. That guy was on the point. There's a shallow point that runs out here. You can see it if you get over there where I just casted. You can see it's sandbar kind of thing. Better. There. Little bass. Just fell right out. Be free. Fish on. Ate it as soon as it hit the water. Okay, we gotta go over there. It's in the weeds. Might have lost him. Nope. We got him. Green sunfish. Mm-hmm. The big one. Just a green sunfish. A big mouth, is that where? Little green sunfish. Another one on the slobber knocker. Callan's custom tackle. Musky whopper flopper. Isn't that pretty? It's 
the first whopper plopper I've ever made. I'm pretty proud of it. Wires. A little messy wire wrappings towards the end. First time I've ever done those wrappings on a bait. This is my Lou's laser speed stick rod with a Abu Garcia Max Z and 30 pound braid. Push on. I was like third or fourth cast. I got him. <laughs> kind of goofy. Right on top of his head. Oh my goodness. Yeah, got him. Just in time, too. It's fine, buddy. I got him. Jump out at them. And they sometimes can be off on their aim. Custom tackle. Musky whopper plopper. It's a pretty bait. I'm going to try a little trout swim bait. See if I can get something on that. This I lose Xfinity Speed Spool, ten pound braid. It's a nice little swim. Just let it sink. Can it be? What's it gonna be? That's pretty good. Oh, just a bass. Yep, just a bass. Official bass like teeny tiny trout swim baits that you don't reel, you just let them sit. <laughs> He's barely hooked. Bass like little tiny. Rainbow trout pattern crankbaits, or not crankbaits, swim baits. Oh, my pro barrows, Walker Hunt combat rod combo kind of thing, and the uh, diver moving shoulders. Should be pretty quick to hook one up on this. This is too close right now. Like it? Yep. Little Binko Matic 5000. Hey, do you got the grippers? Thanks. I need that for when I'm pushing the crankbaits. Don't want to get a trouble in the hand. Oh, an orb weaver. Something.
fish on. Fish on. Let's sneak around you. Fish on. Fish on bass on the slobber knocker again. Got it? Fish on. It's a dark bass. What they call a black bass in Florida. Just a little guy. They're eating slobber knockers and chatterbait. Later, buddy. Fish on. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good fish. Good way to end the day. On a fish. Slobber nozzle. Or not. Slobber knocker, not slobber nozzle. I don't want it necessarily dropping from so high. Later, buddy. And last fish of the day goes to the slobber knock, slobber knuckle.